Hello everyone, it's Life Lifted Gamer here. Back with another part of The Walking Dead, Season 1, Episode 1, Part 2. And um, make sure you subscribe to my channel for male content as well. Anyway, let's get this started. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple of days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chad. Well, I'm glad you took him with you, then. You've brought a couple guests. We just need a little help. We won't stay long. Good. You're welcome to stay here, but just for the night. I don't run a bed and breakfast. So it's just you and your daughter, then? Oh, he's not his daughter. He's, well, just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. How'd this happen? Car accident. Car accident. That's so. Where were you headed before the car accident? I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with, the girl? I was with the police officer. I was with the police officer. He was giving me a ride. Mm. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there. When we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. Um, looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. You're going to want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I watched a man let himself get run over without blinking an eye. Well, do what you think you should. we got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. we got to do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. 
There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards naked, I suppose. like manure manure like when a horse plops just like that i missed my mom and dad i bet Clem. how far is savannah pretty far oh okay spiders in your hair <gasps> but i bet your daddy scared them all away huh i'm uh not her dad babe sleep i'm kenny dad we're in the middle of the fence there's a tractor and everything we better get going or we won't hear the end of it that's my boy ken jr we call him duck though dodging or quacking quacking dad see Word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan, then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Hey there, girls. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Anybody in their right mind would. Families and barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? For those guns, it's important. So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale, like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. No, I used to. I was let go a little while back. That's too bad. Well... I hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster. People don't want to die ignorant, I guess. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, um, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, you're good? Anyway, 
It's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. Hey there, uh, Kenny. How's your son doing? Good, I think. katya has got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds in that. Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. Uh, we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna face us. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? I have no idea what I'm doing. At least you're honest. Shit. Better than I was when Duck showed up. You'll figure it out. See you. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. like those two are getting them on. How you doing, Doc? Good. I'm going to drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. Hey, Lee. See the hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two guys to length, that'd sure speed things up. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Do what you can to survive. Like put a gun to that kid's head and pull the trigger? Fuck that, man. You didn't even hesitate. You just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pull the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Sometimes, just kill, be killed. I guess. I don't think I'd sleep good after that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon. Oh, oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. 
<laughs> if you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. That's all that matters. Do you agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Go! I'll get my gun! This is as far as we're going. And it's far enough. Look! Hey there. You friendly? Trucks run out of gas.
take risks like this. And we can't just let people die, either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out there. Then we let them. We're not dangerous. Just regular folks. What's dangerous? a bunch of people running outside and drawing their attention to us. Lee's right. We're just regular folks, but we actually like helping people. You'll have to excuse her. The hell he Or anyone will. This is about survival. Do you guys not see what's happening? What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. In a minute, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. She's not wrong. They took a risk. Yes, we did. And we appreciate it. Now let's settle down. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bit. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body. We'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no fight. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out. Or smash his head in. Penny, stop him! Look, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We'll get the out of here. It's either him or your son. I say it's him. Goddamn right. Out on his ass with those things. Everyone chill the fuck out. Nobody's doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here. And none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Lee, stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. Do you? You're not fucking acting like it. Sit down. That's it. You're gonna whoop me? <laughs> you and one homo parade. This one. <laughs> That's good. Little boy. Before you eat your mommy, you can watch your dad get his nose broken. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. <laughs> hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch! She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. Then, there'll be three. And that boy is the ball game. Then we do what you say. We toss him out and save the group. Lee? What the fuck, man? What other choice is there? Finally, someone gets some sense. But we can't wait. We are tossing them out now. No, you don't touch that boy. You don't touch anybody. I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You want to get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on. You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here. <coughs> <sighs> I 
Exactly, Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local. Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully. You won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot. And I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. I'm so sorry uh, about the bar, uh, the um, dog barking. It really gets on my nerves. I want to flip out, but yeah. But anyway, um, thank you for watching this video. Um, don't forget to share this video, like this video, favorite this video, and sus and subscribe to my channel. I'll greatly appreciate it. My goal is to um, reach to 1,000 subscribers by the end of this year, so make sure you subscribe to my channel and put notifications on. Anyway, I will see you guys next time, and peace out.